Hello class, this is Mrs. Marty, and I want to share um, some direction with you, share my screen and go over what we'll be doing this week, and um, make sure that you have a chance to go back and watch this if you have any questions. Um, this week is the last week, we'll be working in unit two. And you should see my screen and you can see here where it says click here on the screen um, that we have our end of quarter two essay, which is due this week. And so that's what I'm going to be going over for you. OK, so if I click there, um, there is an assignment folder that comes up with a slide. Now, this essay is a little different than the other essays in that we're not providing you with the sources and the specific topic, but it's a type of research where you get to choose from a few different topics and um, if the sources are linked for you. So you will have to go search the sources that we provide. So this end of unit, so I'm sorry, end of unit two essay assignment is due no later than Thursday night, okay, um, at midnight. So Friday is the end of the nine weeks. And so I will need to have all of these by Thursday night so that I can um, make sure that I get them graded and I don't spend all weekend grading. I appreciate that. So, and the first thing you will do is open a PDF that's inside this link. It's titled Unit 2, Essay Prompts and English 3. Then you will read that PDF, decide your topic from the ones given to you, and then begin researching the sources provided. I have had some questions and asked, can I use a different source? You may use a different source if you provide that source to me before using it and I approve it, okay? And then the last thing in the same folder, you will open the Google Doc that's titled Start Your Essay Here. You'll read the brief introduction and you will write a five paragraph essay and then submit it for grading. Okay, so just another reminder at the end of this slide, the essay is due Thursday night. Any other makeup work, including grade recovery, is due by the end of the school day, two o'clock on Friday, which is the end of the nine weeks. Okay, so I'm going to enter here to this link and you will see an assignment pop up that says unit two essay prompt and assignment. So here we go. All right, so not to be redundant, but just to make sure I've clearly covered everything, I've included the same slide that I read in case you missed it the first time or it wasn't big enough. It's the same um, things here, okay? And you'll see um, the first step you're gonna do is open a PDF titled Unit 2 Essay Prompts English 3. I'm gonna scroll down so you can see that document is here at the bottom. Um, and it will ask you to download it. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Notice it downloads at the bottom here, and then I am going to open it. Okay, and I'm 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 going to go back to the slide so we can just look at where everything else is. So the second step it said is to actually read the PDF and decide on the topic, and then start researching the sources provided. Okay, so let's go back to that PDF. And I know this is wordy, it's two pages. Um, normally, I say normally, we used to use two to three weeks to do research. And at that time, you would have to pick your own topic and go to the media center and find all kinds of your own resources. Um, although it looks like a lot, two pages is really not a lot because we're providing and explaining each topic for you. When I say we, I mean all English three teachers, um, the, all the 11th graders are doing this topic and we've also provided the reputable sources for you. So let's just look at this. 
It says, this unit we've analyzed several speeches that have addressed multiple topics. Three subjects that stood out as having received the most attention in our readings were freedom, racism, slash slavery, and immigration. Your task is to pick one of the three topics. So you will choose either freedom, racism, or immigration. Okay, let me say that again. You will choose one of those. You will not write one paragraph on freedom, one on racism, and one on immigration. Your entire essay will be about one of those topics, okay? And then you'll conduct the research about the topic. And the research you'll be doing is, comes from the sources that we've already provided for you on this document. And like I said, if um, you want to use a different resource, please get approval on that first so that I can make sure that it is a reliable source. So after conducting your research, um, you'll report your findings in a five paragraph essay. Right? And we know what goes into a five paragraph essay. You have your introduction where you're introducing the topic and giving us a little bit of background. And then lastly, stating your thesis, which is what your, your paper is about. What are you going to tell us about, inform us about, what point are you gonna argue? Um, now each topic that's outlined below in this document has a suggestive reliable sources, and you must use and cite information from three sources listed under each topic. Now, a few of the source, a couple of the sources, I think only have three, so you would use information from all three, and then there's one that has more, and so you don't have to use the information from every source in that topic, just three of how many ever sources are listed. So again, you're choosing one topic and then you can just ignore all the other topics and sources in the paper. So um, it does say that the essay should be in standard paragraph format. So what I mean by choosing one is, so let's say that you just decide to choose topic one, which is freedom. <clears throat> and we'll read through this, but topic one is freedom give you a little bit of background, some questions to think about. And then here are the sources. There are three sources only on freedom. So what that means is if you choose to talk about freedom, I, we want you to think about some of these things that have to do with freedom that you might wanna include in your paper. And then you will need to use for full credit information from all three of these sources. You can ig ignore the rest if you choose freedom. So there are three topics. If you choose freedom, you'll read the little intro here. It gives you some things um, to get started. Um, like, are we the freest country in the world? Are we equally free? Is freedom only an illusion? So these are some topics you might wanna think about. Um, these could even be three separate paragraphs to get to your five paragraph essay. So next, you will conduct the research to help answer those questions. And if these don't open for you automatically, you may have to push the control button. As you can see, there are three resources here, um, the Cato Institute, Legal Information Institute, and Bill of Rights. And each one of these will tell you a little bit about the source. Now, the Cato Institute um, contains the Human Freedom Index, and it's the state of human freedom in the world. And for example, let's click on it, see what opens here. And here we go. At the top, you're always gonna look, you have research, events, publications. So this might be a place where you look if you're going to talk about freedom and maybe how it relates to the speeches, okay? Commentary, um, if it's a reputable person, yes. If it's a blog, I would probably say no, unless it's someone you can prove is very, um, reliable. Um, so in this index, it tells you um, how they measure human freedom and all these facts and statistics, okay? They give you some maps about which countries have the most freedom and all kinds of information that you could use to support your thesis on freedom. 
So what I'm going to do is go to the second um, topic, which I think I just accidentally closed out of. So let me open it again. And the second topic that was covered in the speeches and um, things that we read this nine weeks had to do with racism or slavery. Um, so like Lincoln and Douglas look specifically at slavery while um, the current social things we see happening today like Black Lives Matter. The overall question you wanna answer in your paper is what is the state of racism today? And again, we give you some thoughts to get you thinking. Um, is, and you read those, I'm not reading it word for word because I know you how to read and I value your time. You will conduct the research. You can see there are five sources. Remember in the beginning, it said you only need to use three of those sources, right? So um, I can choose, let's just choose one here. Um, you have that little brief description too. So this is a resource from CNN and it says 2020, the year America confronted racism. So the first thing you have here is an article that was written by CNN about 2020. But if you scroll down, you, you'll you see some other um, articles that refer to racism. And this is listed chronologically by month for 2020, some different articles and things that happened, okay? Um, since racism and was a big um, topic this year and the news with everything that was um, going on with George Floyd, I know that was uh, a big thing. You can see there are a couple of Black Lives Matter um, websites here. And then um, you can see this is an overview on racism from police brutality. Um, so you may wanna choose that one. The last topic that you could choose from is immigration. Now, um, of course, each author that addressed immigration that we read addressed it differently. Um, early on, Patrick Henley, Patrick Henry complained that one of King George's crimes was his refusal to allow immigrants from countries outside of England to settle in the colonies. So um, a couple of questions you might wanna think about starts here. Is border protection more important the access to the American dream. Is border protection more important, the access to the American dream? So when it comes to the American dream, the dream of having you know, the job, the family, the house, the life that you want, what does border protection have to do with that? Is it important? Um, another question you might wanna think about is, is it a problem with legal versus illegal pathways to the dream? So maybe I achieve my American dream and I do it legally, someone else does it illegally or vice versa, um, is that a problem, okay? Um, you might also consider, um, should we have a completely open border policy? And another one here. So these are um, not listed out in bullets like the ones above are, I missed that, but these are some topics that you can think about as you're researching. If you choose immigration, and you can also center your paragraphs around them. So here you have only three sources that we've provided for you. So you would need to use information from all three sources. And again, if you wanna use another source, just run it by me so that I can check the reliability and verify it. And then I'll get back with you and let you know um, whether that is a good source to use. So we'll open the Homeland Security website. Um, just to kind of show you some, some different things. So when you open it up, it comes up to border security and immigration. So this would definitely address the question that we just read about border security. And if you look on the left, you will see some topics. And if you keep scrolling down, you see all kinds of things. And so the good and the bad thing about research is that um, you can learn a lot but the bad thing is, is that it can take a lot of time if you get off track because there is so 
much in front of you. So you can see there's news, there's all these other things. So when you pick your topic and you have your topic sentences ready, or if you decide I'm gonna write around those questions, don't get lost in reading every little piece of information. Just make sure that you are focusing on things that explain and support your point of view. And when you're doing that, you know, please make sure to include your your own voice in there. What, um, you know, we're trying not to use I and me in our writing at this point, but you can still give your opinion instead of saying, you know, I believe border security and immigration um, is a good policy. You would just say whether it is or not border security and immigration is a good policy because. Okay, so we can still say the same thing without saying I or me. And of course, if you need any help with that, I'd love to help you guys with writing. We can um, let me know. I can pull up your Google document as you're typing in it, look at it, make suggestions verbally with a meeting or just with comments. Um, so we won't have a lot of meetings this week, today, um, and or tomorrow's class, whichever day you're on, will probably be um, one of the only ones unless you suggest one because I wanna give you um, the first day class of the week to make sure you understand your assignment and then do the research and you're gonna to wanna to take notes, right? And then what you're also gonna make sure is that you do not plagiarize so that you're either citing the articles and then explaining um, if you pick a quote, why did you pick that quote? What does the quote you picked have to do with the topic you chose or your point in general, or that you are citing the source and you're paraphrasing a quote or something from the paper itself and you're not plagiarizing because you're putting it into your own words. Okay. So now let's go back. We have opened the PDF document um, that had all the topics and sources and told us what we need to do. We have um, read it, hopefully decided on a topic, and we looked through some of those sources. Next, we're going to open the Google Doc that says start your essay here. We're going to read that. And then we're going to use the notes and things that we have taken and we are going to put them together and organize them right so it's your typical typical essay you can always you know go back to my youtube channel and i know that there are some videos in there on organization you can look in the resources the classroom resources and there's some information and graphic organizers in there or you can just reach out to me and if you need some help on a specific thing i can walk you through it or i can send you a resource via email all right so the um, google doc says start your essay here now, you'll probably want to print out or have a take a picture on your phone or somehow have that um, other PDF that we've been looking at up that has the topics and the questions as you begin to write. So you can do that by um, going up here and minimizing, you know, your screen and going side by side. Now, if they're both um, on the same Internet page, the way you do that is you take let me. You just take the tab and you grab and and you drag it right so it won't let me do side by side right now because all my things are on the same tab but if i grab this tab and i pull it out then i can minimize it just a little bit and i can go over and adjust the arrows however i want and then i can go back to let's say this is the other one when i that i wanted and i can minimize it and move it around and grab it and make it so I can have the two things side by side and I can pull one up while I am um, typing with the other. The easiest way once you have these minimized to do that, I know I've talked about it before, is to grab it like this and hold it over to the left until you see this um, outline in the back. You see that almost looks like an invisible line and it snaps into place, right? And then I'm gonna pick my other document that I have minimized, and I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna do it to the right. So I'm just gonna grab the folder with my mouse with holding down the left mouse button. I'm gonna drag it over to the top right until I see that same invisible line 
there and I'm going to let go and then I can just like when those little arrows pop up that means I can drag it down and I'll click my left mouse button and drag it down do the same to the other one and then voila I can type side by side okay for now I'm going to minimize this one so we can look at what your google doc says so it does say that after opening the unit 2 essay prompts document, which is what we just read, and um, reading through the directions, um, the topics for you to choose from and researching the sources, begin writing your essay. Remember, it's got the due date in there. So this is the actual, uh, I want to say prompt or instructions from the school district. OK, which says you're going to write a research report that not only informs the reader about what others say about your topic, but also offers a unique perspective. OK, that means your own individual thoughts on that topic. So this research report, you're going to use those sources that are provided for you to inform the reader what others say, but then you're going to offer your own perspective, your own thoughts, but you're going to try to do that, like I said, without using the words I and me. So I believe or I think should be changed just to it is or it is not or something like that. Again, you can ask me for help if you need it. Um, it does uh, say that as you're preparing to write your research report, consider the following things when planning and writing. You're going to choose one of the three topics that you're most interested in learning more about. Um, be sure to narrow your focus to match the requirements that are on that other document, um, like length, five paragraphs is what it is. Um, remember, some topics are going to have a lot of information, so you got to Keep your focus narrowed. Don't lose track and spend hours and hours reading. Focus on just the answers or the questions that you want to answer to. And then you're going to be sure to directly state your thesis, which would be the last sentence in your introduction. Um, and that gives the reader the purpose of your report and make sure that you keep on track with that throughout. Okay. And um, then you're going to lastly check the logical sequence of your report make sure all your information flows well it makes sense in the order that you have it in and that your um, sources are cited okay so um, if you have any questions remember to reach out to me one last thing i'm going to share with you is um, if you've never used it, you can add Grammarly, which will help you with your grammar capitalization, um, commas as an extension if you're using Google Chrome. And so let's say I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type Grammarly Chrome extension. OK, and I spelled it wrong. I already have this, um, but if you click on um, you know, Grammarly for Chrome here, then it will give, see mine says remove, yours is going to say add. You can add it for Chrome, and what that does, it puts your extensions, if you look in the upper right hand corner where there's my Bitmoji, there's a little puzzle piece, there's some different things. Um, this is where my extensions are, this little puzzle piece looking thing. And you can see that I have Grammarly for Chrome. And right now I can look at more actions um, and I don't want to remove it. How do I know it's working? Look in my lower, I can't show you, but in the lower right here, it has that little G, right? And it tells me there are six advanced issues available only for premium users. So there are no issues that it found in this document. Another thing is just because they find an issue doesn't mean it's an issue because sometimes they're not sure of your intentions or your purpose for writing. So make sure you don't just accept every single thing that they suggest. Make sure that you are reading through it as you do it. And you can um, enable that Grammarly instinction and use it for everything, even on Schoology. Okay. So um, I hope that you have found this 
<laughs> I hope that you have found the video um, informative and that it helps you with your essay that's due Thursday and that if you run into any problems or you need any help, please reach out to me. Remind app is the easiest way to get a hold of me because I get a notification right away. My emails, I have to remember where to stop and take time and check them, um, but the Remind app does come right away and you can find how to do that um, on the Schoology page under materials if you're not sure. All right, so I have talked for way more than I wanted to. Um, hopefully it's been helpful and I will talk to you throughout the week. I hope you all have a great day.